All right, so we're gonna work on speed drill pass, okay? I'm not gonna tell you what you're gonna do. You gotta be creative. So you know you need to pass the guard. There's different ways for you to pass the guard. You can use leg drag, you can use knee cut, you can use stack pass, okay? Um, you can step over the leg, okay? But I wanna see you using like more transitions, okay? Transitions, transitions, transitions. So keep moving side to side, be creative. Try to not just be focused on doing one thing only, you know, like over and over. And the guy's pushing you here, like your opponent's pushing you here, and then you try again, you know. Try to go, Nika, didn't work, go to the other side, didn't work, go this side here, didn't work, go this side here, you know, stack, boom, try to pass, go back. Just try to be creative, okay? Every time you do something, you know that your opponent will do something else. So he's gonna react. Okay, so I go with my hand right here, okay, or I let his leg go here, put my hand inside, go north, south, okay. The person body will keep the back on the floor the whole time. And close hands, okay. So Josh should keep his hand closed. And he cannot sit up, okay. He can trap my leg like this, yes. And you can use the, you know, you can use knee cuts to trap your leg like that. Okay, trap your leg, trap my leg. I can go for a side smash, you know, wipe my leg, go to the side, okay? Your goal, if you pass, hold for a few seconds and try to move. The intention of the training is not, uh, of this drill, is not to, like, pass the guard and ha, ah, be like heavy, yeah, like, ah, uh, control, okay? It's, it's try to, your goal is to try to make transitions. So every time you're passing and then he pulls, you go overhead. You pass, his leg is coming, you go under the leg. You pass, his leg is coming, your leg drag to the other side. Okay, so just be creative. So Josh will not let me pass, but he has limitations, right? So he cannot uh, use his hands, and he cannot sit up. So I'll take advantage of that, okay? Do whatever you want, go ahead. Good, I went one. Keep moving. It's flow. Close hand, Josh. Okay, so keep working in this with this hand right here. Like C grip. Okay? Pushing his leg. Try to pass, okay? Try to be more on your feet than on your knees. I don't wanna see you here. Okay? <clears throat> you're gonna work 30 seconds like that. After you're done, both of you, uh, both of you will be standing, and then you're gonna take downs back and forth. And then the other guy go top to bottom, okay? We're gonna be with the same party the whole time. We're gonna do five times. Okay, speed drill, the person by the fin, stand up, take down back and forth, go down again, top to bottom, do the same thing, five times. You guys got it? One, two, three. All right, so we did the hook start sweep last, uh, last class, right? So we got the underhook, pushing the hand against his hips. So we have the regular hook sweep, okay? I need to place my head under his chest right here. My head needs to be in the line of my knee, right? So I go to the hook sweep, okay? I'm just gonna show you guys uh, what we learned, okay? I fall, bring my knees to my chest, and I come up on top like this, right? We also did, when he pulls the leg, he pulls the leg, I reach his leg, sweep, right? We did also with the different grips, like wizard, wizard, right here, okay? Controlling, doing the exact same thing, okay? Um, we had like this one here as well, okay? Like clubbing him really hard, okay? So today we're gonna work in a hook skirt, um, and this hook skirt is really powerful because um, I'm working on attacking his arm, okay? and at the same time I'm working on my butterfly sweep, okay? So we can do it in two different ways. First one, I can go approach to him like this, 
underhook his shoulder and point my thumb towards me here, okay? And then I'll go with this hand like this, okay? My hand face this way, catch his shoulder. Once I catch his shoulder, I bring his shoulder to my chest really hard and I'll, I'll be like on this position here. I cannot be like this, okay? I cannot put my back on the floor. If my back touches the floor, I need to push him using my hooks and sit up. I gotta be in exact this position here, okay? So there's two ways for me to sweep my opponent right here, okay? I can sweep into the right or to the left, okay? So it really depends on his reactions right here, okay? Let's say if, if I'm here, Josh, react. He start reacting here, okay? Let's say he's like more like lifting this leg here. I use my forearm under his neck and then I start bringing it to the side, okay? I actually use this sweep with the gi as well a lot. It, it works really well. Okay, so I'm here, I go one, two, catch, I lean a little bit, don't put my back on the floor. If my back touches the floor, I need to go like this. Use my forearm under his neck, and I start opening my forearm here, see? And then I start sweeping this in. Okay, using my hook to sweep. So once I get the sweep, I'm gonna end up on this position usually, right? When I get here, I'm gonna control his wrist, okay? I step my leg over. And I turn around and I, I'll be on this position here. Okay? Ready to pass his guard or to attack his back. If I want to pass his guard, I'll push his leg and pass, pass the guard. Or I can force him to turtle, like we learned this before. And then I jump to his back, taking his back. Okay? You don't need to work right now on the back attack, but just to let you know, you know. When you sweep and you get on the, this is like port, uh, quarter, guard. quarter guard. You got on the quarter guard here. Sometimes when you try to go for the knee cut like this, you give you space, your opponent like underhook you, and then you end up doing this position here, okay? Or if you try to mount, you know, you can start working deep half. You start underhooking your leg and start doing this, okay? So I really like this. I like to trap this arm. Step my leg around, if my free leg goes around, once I step around, I turn facing his leg. Now my armpit goes over his armpit, okay? Like it. Then you can use the pass or the back thing, okay? Professor, if you underhook my arm, when I do this, you get the Kimura trap, okay? Or the guillotine. You can get a guillotine here as well. There's a lot of things you can do after you get in this situation, okay? Our main goal is to get the hook scar. Like I said, I can sweep it to my left or to the other side. You know? It really depends, okay? I go one, two, bring his shoulder really tight and close to my chest, stretch his leg, I kind of like spread it, okay? So I, I open him, okay? Open my hooks, and his knee cannot be in the line of his hips, okay? So if his knee is in the line of his hips, he's strong. I need to make him like a sprawl. Uh, almost his belly button is touching the floor. Like I force him to sprawl. Try to stand up, Josh. Even if he stand up, when he's knee off, look, I keep like doing this. I gotta have the feeling of my shin on his leg. I can also sweep this way, okay? Even though he can post this hand on the floor, okay? The pressure is so much on his shoulder, right here, that sometimes this hand here is not enough for me uh, to stop me, okay? I'm here. If I feel, up, you know, he's doing a really good base on that side. Open your leg, Josh. And I shift to my hips. And I go to the other side. One second on top. One, two. Ready to attack his back. Pass his guard. If you underhook, Kimura or chain strap. Attack his neck, okay? Sometimes you're trying to sweep from the hooks guard. And instead of pulsing the leg, he pulls the leg and also pulls the arm. I use this a lot from here as well. So I go here, he pulls like this, and then I catch his shoulder, and I spread him like this. Okay, now I'm under control here. Go Josh, try to move. Look. You see that my forearm is right under his, his throat, right, like this. Once I'm out, trap, slide, Push, pass his guard. If you turn off your pass, 
You can always jump to this guy. Okay, see which side is better for you. Right now, we're just gonna work uh, from here, okay? Or force into pose. Catch. Sweep. Wrap. Okay. This transition here is important too. Turn around. So I pass. And you see, look, my knee. This knee goes on the floor and this one lifts. So I gotta do this. Okay? And face to his side. Of course, right here, if you like, you can start trapping the, the sunkaku or whatever. Like this. Okay? And start attacking the heel hooks or knee bars as well, if you want. Okay? I want to go down there. I want you guys doing this. When he catch my arm, you need to squeeze the arm against uh, the shoulder against the chest really hard and take your shoulders off the mat. Just your butt on the floor. Like this. And look at the knee line. Even though I stand up, he's still like, oh, there's a lot of pressure. I feel that now he can swim me this way. So this is uh, uh. super powerful way strong. Usually people they try to attack the arm bar here. Like this. But I feel that the guy can get out. Go for the sweep first. If the arm bar comes, it will happen. But go for the tricep strap first. You got trapped right here. Okay? Let's work. Any question? Both sides? Yes. Yes. From here, I can go one, two. Look. My butt, only my uh, tailbone on the floor. Now look, I cannot go in this forearm here. So under his neck, look. And use my hook. Once I got here. Okay. The other one. I can go force into pose. Boom, catch. Now I go this way. In this case, I already on mount. I don't need to do anything. Only if you want to defense. Like, <laughs> All right, you guys got it? All right, let's go one, two, three.